the United States declared war on Mexico because of the new independence of Texas. The war's purpose was to battle for land that Mexico thought that was their property, and the U.S. wanted to have more of Mexico's northern lands. But who was right? This place is chaotic. Have you heard the people have trouble colonizing the north? And our president needs more army combatants in case of any trouble with the U.S. Oh man, that seems bad. I heard that there are some American rebellions in the north. This situation is out of control. Bro, they are trying to buy California. What do you guys think about that? Oh, that's a good money. We sure need that. Guys, no, think about it. Americans are going to get better resources with our territory, and they will be will get powerful. You sure are right about that? Imagine if there's gold. That would be nice. We should protect our land. I think it's better if you help with those rebellions in the north. You should go prepare and join the army. General Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana might need your help. We have made our decision. We are going to serve our nation's army. Go make Mexico proud. Sorry, I have some news. Rebellions have attacked. Oh no, where are they? What do they want? They are from the US and they want land, mainly Texas and places from the north. We need to take action now. Ok, send troops to the north and let's end this. We are ready to expand. Just like it says on Manifest Dynasty. President James Polk had just bought Louisiana from France, and now it was time to expand some more. Like Manifest Destiny, which was what they believed in, in this belief consisted of stretching the nation to the Pacific Ocean and beyond. Mexico's president knows that we are planning to expand our territory. Will he agree? Oh, Mexico is getting troops over there. We should call Mexico and first discuss things calmly. Over several decades, Mexico had mishandled the governance of California, making settlers there unhappy with Mexican rule. President James K. Polk offered to purchase California from Mexico, but Mexico refused the offer. Start the expansion of soldiers in the north. We will have that territory. We need some money for exchanging the land. Also call the army, especially General Sachery Taylor. I have it. Hi, General. We tried to buy territory, but Mexico did not agree. And so and so we'll send we'll be sending troops. Be prepared. General Sachery Taylor and his troops were planning on what to do. Everyone get ready. We're starting our battles in the south, mainly in California and Rio Bravo. Go say goodbye to your families and friends, because this is a conflict that is going to last a while. We will follow you to the battle until the death of the general. We have to be prepared to attack. Mexico's advancing. Attack! Advance soldiers and destroy them all. The war finished and many people died. There were around 4,000 civilians killed by some violence and weapons also. <laughs> U.S. won the war and had control of Texas. U.S. have control of Texas and they will destroy the U.S. 
just seven states contributed with troops, so we need to accept the amount of money they offer us. The work came to an end with the signing of the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. This treaty added an additional 525,000 square miles to United States territory, including the land that makes up all parts of present day, Arizona, California, Colorado, Nevada, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming. And that's how the Mexican-American War came to an end.